Yo, how is it going Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Is Khalil Mack a top three pass rusher in the NFL? And how much does the addition of Robert Quinn and a healthy Akeem Hicks help him out? We're going to be answering these questions and many more today in episode 33 of Uncut. Welcome back to the show, guys. Before we get started, I would like to say if you are stumbling upon this video and want Bears content every day of the week, quite literally, I uh, never thought it would get to that point, but we're posting every day now. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 1.5k subs by the end of the week. Need about 70 more subscribers, and uh, we're really looking to hit it soon. So do us a favor, do that. Click the bell for notifications whenever we post, and also like the video. I am your host, Chris Maltby, and today I am joined with my co-host, Parth Shaw. Parth, how's it going today, man? Doing good, you know. Been outside all day. It's super nice here in Chicago. Uh, I think it's like 75, you know. Just enjoying the sun. Wish the pools were open up. Would have hit the pool today. Yeah, 75 degrees today. Uh, an absolutely beautiful day in Chicago. Something we definitely needed during this quarantine. But we're here to respond to yet another take. Uh, and this one may not uh, need as, as big or bad of a response, but we think it's disrespectful personally. So here we are hopping on yet again. NFL Network's Bucky Brooks went online and made a list of the top five edge rushers heading into the 2020 season. He put Khalil Mack at fourth. Uh, let me give you the top five list. Number one, Chandler Jones. Very well, uh, very well earned for him. You know, he had 19 sacks last year. Cam Jordan, Daniil Hunter. I still think Khalil Mack's the best edge rusher in the NFC North. I didn't think he had much help there in 2019, but but kudos to Daniil Hunter. And then Khalil Mack and T.J. Watt to close it out. Parth, obviously, you know, if you look at stats, Mack definitely wasn't top five last year. But overall, you know, after the additions of Akeem Hicks and Robert Quinn, you can expect that he's going to be back up there. Um, and I would still probably rank him higher than than Bucky Brooks put him, um, just out of respect for everything he's done. And also, in retrospect, looking at how much help he's going to have this year, he's going to have a ton of more opportunities in 2020 if he can stay healthy. What was your reaction to Bucky Brooks's take having Mack at fourth in the top five pass rushers in the NFL? At this point, I'm not even surprised by all these takes that all these NFL, whatever media guys you could say they're making. You know, where the Bears have been heavily disrespected. I know CBS put out a post saying that we're going to go three and thirteen. That was USA you know, Today, um, but yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah, USA, USA Today, my bad. Uh, I think CBS made saying we're going to go six and ten, but yeah, all these. Things, all these um, big-time reporters are just harassing the Bears and harassing us as fans. At this point, I'm not surprised, but again, this was just disrespectful to Khalil Mack. You know, he's been a great rusher for the Raiders and the Bears now. He's definitely top three, and if not, top two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that I would put Chandler Jones over him at this point, but I would probably put him over Cam Jordan and Daniel Hunter, and that's no disrespect for what those guys get done you know i actually posted about this on instagram and mac actually liked the photo which was uh pretty sick there but you know i mean as bears fans you mentioned it we, we've gotten used to the disrespect and uh it really is nothing new at this point i think the bears are going to come out and hopefully shock some people here in 2020 if the season can get going parth pretty simple question here obviously bucky brooks put him at fourth is Khalil Mack a top three pass rusher in the league yeah and he, that was pass rusher i mean Bucky Brooks's list was edge rusher. I would probably say the top three pass rushers in the league are Mack, Von Miller, and Aaron Donald in, in any sort of order. Uh, also, Chandler Jones is awesome, so he, he might be up there as well. I would also agree, though, that he's a top three pass rusher in the league. Another question for you, Parth. How much do you think the addition of Robert Quinn and a healthy Akeem Hicks help Mack? Because obviously, you know, with Leonard Floyd there in 2019, he only had three sacks. Uh, Floyd only had one sack. After uh, Akeem Hicks went down uh, there in London against the Oakland Raiders, obviously Akeem Hicks came back, uh, and I believe about week 15. But obviously that elbow, that dislocated left elbow of his, wasn't healed fully. So a lot of teams, because of Floyd's, uh, I guess, unproductiveness, were able to focus on Mac and really zone him out. So how much do you think Hicks being healthy and the addition of Robert Quinn, who had 11 and a half sacks in 2019, how much do you think those additions? help him out in 2020 i think we could see the best year of Khalil Mack's career this year actually i mean 
you know, a healthy Akeem Hicks in 2018 paired up with an average Leonard Floyd. Um, Mac was able to put up double digit sacks and I think six or seven forced fumbles, which was an amazing year we could see out of Mac. And now we were adding a, another great edge rusher pair in Robert Quinn, who puts up 10 plus sacks year in and year out. I mean, I think Leo Mac's ceiling is out of this world this year. He, you could have one of his 15 sack seasons, especially with um, Roy Robertson Harris and Bill All Nichols taking the next step in their game as well. Yeah, I think. Overall, these additions help a ton. You know, you mentioned that it could be a uh, Khalil Mack's best year, and I agree. But I think overall, it's it's the best year that the Bears' defensive line will have in some time because if it's not Mack getting to the quarterback, it very much so is going to be Robert Quinn, or it very much so is going to be a healthy Akeem Hicks who posted on Instagram a couple days ago and is looking absolutely incredible. I mean, I think people really overlook what Akeem Hicks is able to do. I mean, eight and a half sacks for him. In 2018, when he made the Pro Bowl, he's absolutely incredible against the run. You really cannot doubt what he's able to do. And then, obviously, you take a look on the other side of that line, and you've got uh, Robert Quinn, uh, someone who had 11 and a half sacks across from Demarcus Lawrence. And it's not disrespecting Demarcus Lawrence. I think Khalil Mack is probably better than him. Um, he had 19 sacks there in 2013. Was the Pro Football Writers of America Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, has had some really productive seasons in St. Louis. Miami, and now uh, with the Dallas Cowboys, and he comes into Chicago working across from the best pass rusher he'll ever be able to work across from, uh, uh, not ever, but but for now, uh, the best one that he'll have worked across from in his career in Khalil Mack. I think it's a really scary duo. You know, a lot of people doubt Quinn for his age, but he was still very productive last year when he was able to get the opportunities. Sure, losing Leonard Floyd might hurt us a little bit in the run game, uh, as far as stopping that, but uh, Hicks is incredible against the run game, and I'm sure Quinn will be perfectly fine. I think it's very much uh, a very helpful addition to the defensive line, to the front seven in general, and I think it's going to be an incredible year for those guys up there. Uh, with Trevathan back healthy, you obviously have Roquan Smith looking to, to do really well again, uh, someone who's continuing to blossom. Uh, we didn't even mention Eddie Goldman and Bilal Nichols, um, two guys there at tackle who are, who are also going to be great. So, one more question for you, Parth. Uh, we we said it, we asked a similar question. We had a similar episode a couple days ago when Matt Miller said that Eddie Jackson wasn't a top ten safety in the league. Um, looking at Khalil Mack, you know, obviously we expect him to finish very well in twenty twenty. I said earlier that I expect him to have twelve and a half sacks or more, and I also expect Quinn and Hicks will do awesome. But out of these five edge rushers. You look at Cam Jordan, Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones is on a roll. You really can't stop him right now. Uh, you obviously look at some other very respectful, respected names that are around the league. Cam Jordan, Daniil Hunter, and TJ Watts, also all very good prospects. But you would assume Khalil Mack's going to be a lot better here in 2020 with the help he's getting. Where do you think he finishes if you had to rank these five pass rushers? Where do you think he finishes? I'm going to go with uh, second again. I think Chandler Jones on, uh, on his own league right now. I mean, he put up 19 sacks last year. I think 17 two years back so he he's out of this world i mean cleo mack will do his thing and still become the best pass rusher that the bears can actually have in the league right now for the bears i think cleo mack is on a league on it on his own entire league as well but i think chandler jones is better and um mack himself will put up i think 12 to 13 sacks next year yeah i'm really excited for mack and i also mentioned it this defensive line as a whole uh in 2020 you know the, the limit is is the sky, I guess you would say. Uh, the sky's the limit. I don't know why I just said that backwards. But um, just overall, you know, with the talent that the Bears have in this front seven, uh, I think they're really unstoppable as far as, especially if everyone can stay healthy. I mean, a lot of people overlook what Danny Trevathan was able to do when he's healthy. Obviously, Roquan Smith, an awesome prospect out of Georgia, who's continuing to bud uh, into a great prospect, the next great Bears linebacker, I would say. Um, and then obviously you got Mac, you got Robert Quinn, you got Akeem Hicks, you got Eddie Goldman. You really cannot stop everyone on that defensive line. And uh, I don't think any defensive line, when you look at the lines that Chandler Jones, ha Jones has, that Cam Jordan has, Daniil Hunter and TJ Watt have, all solid lines, but I don't think any of them in 2020 are as built as the Chicago Bears line and as built as the Chicago Bears front seven. So whether or not Mac 
ends with some career accolades or not. I think just the effect that he has in opening up opportunities for others really oversteps anything that anyone else can do individually because obviously it's a team game at the end of the day. So out of these five edge rushers, I think he does finish top three. Uh, Daniel Hunter, someone who's on a roll. Uh, also Chandler Jones, and that's no respect to Daniel Hunter and TJ Watt. But uh, I, th I think Mac is going to have a very good year. And regardless, I think he, he's still going to demand a ton of attention and open up opportunities for others. Thank you guys very much for tuning into episode 33 of Uncut. It's been a pleasure to talk to you guys today. If you want more stuff from us, you can head over to BearDown.com. There's columns, blogs, and articles over there. We're really getting the website going now as we're entering the summer. Once again, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Click the bell for notifications whenever we post. We're trying to hit 1.5K by the end of this week. Definitely looking to hit it by the end of May. And also smash a like on this video. If you want to follow Parth and I's Instagram fan pages on, uh, yeah, on Instagram. Jeez, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, the links to those are down in the description. And you can also find the podcast on Instagram and Twitter, at Baird Down. Parth, any plans for the rest of the day? Any last words? Um, last word, I'm going to say the, that the Bears are being disrespected. I kind of like this underdog mentality that the Bears can have in the 2020 season. You know, uh, 2019, the Bears were hyped up a lot. And I feel like the Bears felt short of the expectations. So I liked being unexpected and just coming out of nowhere again. Yeah, uh, I think it's very similar to 2018 where a lot of people are overlooking the team. And I'll absolutely take the underdog role because everyone's going to be surprised if and when we're good. And uh, I'd rather have that than, than it be its... I mean, obviously you want to expect success, but I think within Bears fans, we expect success, and hopefully we'll be able to show that to the rest of the world during the 2020 season if it does start on time. Thank you guys very much for tuning in once again. I think I'm going to go for a run or something. It's absolutely incredible out right now. Uh, can't really not do anything when the weather is this nice. So do us a favor. Get outside if the weather is well. Continue to stay safe. Continue to practice social distancing. And as always, Bears fans, do us a favor and bear down. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.